For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn and Ivory Tweed. This will be for my toe and my heel. And then for the body of the stocking, I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Ranch Red. You're also going to need four balls of waist yarn and about three to four gift cards. We're going to be using those later. You're also going to need a five millimeter hook. I'm going to be using my Addy King, which has 46 pins. You're going to want to crank to the first black pin and cast on. We're going to begin our tube that makes the toe portion. So cast on with your toe color. So for me, that is this tweed color that I'm going to be using. So go ahead and cast on with your toe color. And then you're just going to crank until you have a total of 13 rows. Now, if you're going to make your toe all one color, you're going to crank until you have 35 rows. So here's my one that I've done all in the same color. So this toe portion that I'm making is going to be the same color as the heel. So I'm changing color, but you don't have to. You could do the whole toe in 35 rows. So it really just is up to you. And I've put it in a little chart here for you. So just take a look at the chart, decide what you want to do, and I'll meet you back here. So for this tutorial, I'll be changing colors so you can see what it looks like. I've got my 13 rows completed of my toe color, and I'm going to switch to my body color. So again, this is still the toe. And I'm going to change colors here. I'm going to wrap this around that first black peg so that I can be sure I don't drop my old color. And then I'm going to wrap the new color around the front of the black peg. This is the last 22 rows that we're going to be making here. So go ahead and do 22 rows if you change colors and I'll meet you back. So here I've got my 35 rows done. I've got my 13 rows of the tweed and my 22 rows of the red. And the reason that I had you use the gift cards is because we are going to wrap some yarn around the gift card that we are going to be using later for sewing and crocheting purposes. Because the knitted fabric is a little harder to weave our ends in, I'm going to be using a longer tail wrapped around this gift card so that we can have it available instead of having more ends to weave in. I did not measure this. I'm just guessing. So just leave yourself enough tail that you can crochet a round of single crochet around this piece here. And then we're going to use what's left over to sew the pieces together. And then I'm going to grab this gift card and wrap the excess around it so we don't get all tangled up. And then you're going to slide this in the center because we're, we're going to do a round, uh, five rounds of waist yarn. So go ahead and put this in the center and then grab your waist yarn. And we're going to crank out five rounds of waist yarn. And then of course you need to tie these two pieces of yarn together where we changed our color. So you can do it loosely now and then tighter later, or you can do it tight now. It doesn't really matter. Then we're going to cut off the excess right there, and then we are going to cast off because we are done with the toe portion. Set that aside, and now we will make our heel portion. We're going to do this heel portion right here. We just did the toe. Now we're going to work on the heel. So to do that, you're going to use the same color as your toe if you are having a two-toned stocking. If you're doing the same color throughout, then of course just cast on with your body color. And then you're going to do 13 rows, and I'll meet you back.
So I've got my 13 rows here. I'm going to cut a long tail to use for single crochet around the top later. I'm about to add my waist yarn, but before I do, I'm going to give myself enough slack to do a round of single crochet. Now we will not be using this tail for sewing purposes, so just leave yourself enough yarn to make a round of single crochet around the top. But don't worry about leaving enough to sew. We are not going to use this lighter color for any sewing. And then of course again we're going to change to our waist yarn. So go ahead and set that in the middle and then add your waist yarn. And we're going to do five rounds again. And then of course once you do five rows of waist yarn you're going to cast off and then set your tube aside. Now we're gonna make our last tube and this will be the body of the stocking. So we are gonna cast on and off with waist yarn. So go ahead and do five rounds of waist yarn. And then once you have five rows of waist yarn, we are going to switch to our body color and here is where you are going to need your other gift card. So we are going to start with a super long tail because this end is the end that we are going to be making a round of single crochet and sewing this to the rest of the stocking. So you're going to need quite a good bit of tail to start with. And then we're going to start with our body color and you're going to do 50 rows. Don't forget to set your counter to zero after you start with the five rows of waist yarn. So do 50 and I'll meet you back. So here I have my 50 rows of my body and we have two cuff options here. You can do your faux fur, which is crocheted, or we can do the double brim method. So here is my faux fur top and I did this with my crochet hook. So if you're going to do that, it's going to be a little bit different. You could do the double brim method, which is all knitting machine. And essentially, I use this same method for a hat. This is a hat I'm holding, but I'm showing you it would actually look really cute as the top of a stocking folded over. So you could absolutely do that. And if I were going to do it, I would do it in the toe and the heel color. But I'll put it up here at the top of the screen and also in the description box below on how to do this double brim method. So if you decide to do the double brim method, you are going to want to change colors and do 40 more rows. But for me, I'm going to stop and do the crocheted method. So if you choose to top your stocking with the double brim method, you're gonna to need to change to your brim color and do 40 rows of the brim color. So we are not going to use this tail here for sewing, but we are going to use it for a round of single crochet to cast off the, the uh, waist yarn. So it would have been helpful if I had another gift card, but I didn't. So if you have a gift card, use it. But now we're going to add our waist yarn and do five rounds of waist yarn. And then of course, once you do five rows, you are going to cast off. And we are gonna assemble our pieces. So first we're gonna finish the tube in so that we can get rid of the waste yarn. You should have three pieces. You should have the body, the heel, and the toe. Out of these three tubes, we're gonna start with the toe. So for this tube, you're going to need your crochet hook. And the first thing that we're going to do is cinch our toe portion shut. This is going to be the cast on end. So go ahead and close the tube at the bottom where we cast on. And then add your yarn needle and reinforce your stitches, which just means to simply go in the stitches again. Once you do that, you're going to take your tail to the inside and knot it off to secure. And if you really want to, you can hide your tails inside, but I'm not going to worry about it since the inside is not going to be showing. 
I'm just going to cut it short. And now we are going to continue on to the top of the tube so that we can get rid of this waste yarn. So we've got all this excess tail that we started with, or that we ended with really, and we are going to crochet into those stitches to get rid of the waste yarn. So what I'm going to do is put my hook into these two loops right here where the strands are coming out. So I'm just going to pull real tight. If you don't, you'll have a hole. And we're gonna chain one. Now in each of these stitches around, I'm going to do one single crochet. You don't wanna do your stitches too tightly. Gauge is not like super imperative for this part, but you don't wanna do your stitches too tight or it might actually warp the shape of your stocking. So just try to be consistent with whatever you do. I crochet pretty loosely, so if you feel like your stitches are looking pretty tight, then I would go up a hook size. So go all the way around, and then once you're done doing your single crochet, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet. And I'm going to be using this tail for sewing purposes later, so I'm not going to cut my yarn short. I'm just going to take it off the card and chain one to fasten off like you normally would, and pull this long tail all the way through and then wrap it back around the card because we're gonna use it for sewing purposes later. Once you do that, you're gonna slide it back inside your toe and then remove your waist yarn. And this is what it should look like. So now we're gonna work on the heel tube. We're gonna finish it up. So set this one aside and grab your heel tube. So we're going to begin at the cast off end, even though that we're going to cinch this cast on end. If you do it now, it's going to probably possibly make you drop some stitches. So we're going to deal with the single crochet stitches first. So go ahead and do exactly what we just did on the other tube. We're going to single crochet in every stitch around with the excess yarn that you wrapped around your gift card. So just continue making single crochet all the way around, and then when you reach the end, we're gonna slip stitch into our first single crochet. We are not gonna be using this tail for sewing purposes, so you can cut it a little shorter. Now we're gonna remove our waist yarn, and then you're gonna grab the end where we cast on and cinch the end shut. And then you're gonna thread your needle onto your excess there and reinforce your stitches. So of course, you're just gonna go right back around into the very first round of stitches. And then take it to the inside and knot it off to secure. And then cut it short. And now we're done with this portion here, so we're gonna set it aside. And now we're gonna work on the body tube. So we're gonna begin on our cast off end, so the end that we ended with. This will be the top of the stocking, so if you did the double brim, you're gonna to need to finish it like I show you in the other video, and then fast forward to the next portion. If you're doing it like I am and using the faux fur, we are going to use our hook to make a round of single crochet around the top. So just like we did before, using this excess tail that we made, we're going to make a single crochet in every stitch around, and then we can remove our waist yarn. So just do that all the way around. And when you get to the end, you're gonna make your slip stitch in our first single crochet, and then we're gonna cut off the excess because we're not gonna be using it. This is the end that we're gonna be adding faux fur. And then you're gonna remove that waste yarn on this end. We're gonna work on the cast on end. The long tail that we left will be used for the round of single crochet and for sewing purposes. So we're gonna do a round of single crochet just like we've been doing starting right here and then we are going to slip stitch in the first single crochet. 
to finish off this tube and then leaving a long tail for sewing purposes later, you're going to chain one to fasten off and pull all the way through. So go ahead and remove your waist yarn. This is the cast on end, so it's a little harder. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I roll up the waist yarn and I find the very top strand and I pull it out. You've gotta do this for the first round or it won't come out very easily. I've seen a lot of people just cut it, but for me personally, this is actually much faster. So then once you get that first round completely out, it should unravel just like the other side. So now we've got two ends completely done. This is the top where we're gonna add our faux fur. And then we're gonna use this tail for sewing purposes. So we're gonna wrap that around our gift card and put it back inside. So now we're going to sew the toe and the heel portions together. We are gonna join exactly half of the stitches because they both have 46 stitches, okay? So we're gonna use this excess that we put around the card to sew these two pieces together. And since they both have 46 stitches, we are going to do half, exactly half, on each tube. So we're going to do the Kitchener stitch, if you're familiar. I'm gonna show you if you're not. So we're going to be working in these parallel posts that are in line with our single crochet stitches. So we are going to be sewing around these posts. And you're just gonna look for the single crochet and then go below it. And those posts at the very top are what we're gonna be using. So to start off with, we're gonna start from back to front. So pull your tail from the back to the front. And our very first single crochet is where we're gonna be starting there. And it doesn't really matter where you start on the heel portion. So now we are gonna use the same concept with the heel. You're going to find the parallel posts that line up with the single crochet stitches. These posts that line up with the single crochet stitches, are, we're gonna go underneath them. And then we're going to take our needle back down to where we started, where we came out is where we're going to go back in. And then under the next two parallel loops. Now we're gonna go to the next one on the heel. So find that single crochet and then go underneath the parallel loops. And then going back into the same hole that we just came out of on our red piece here, go underneath those parallel loops. We're just gonna continue this process until we have 23 stitches joined. And if you look carefully, you should see that these are lining up. So these stitches should be lining up with the stitches on the toe. And this is what it should look like. So you're just gonna continue doing this all the way until you have 23 stitches joined. Only join half and half. And I will meet you back here. Be sure you only stitch together 23 stitches. So here I've done my 23 stitches joined. And as you can see, it looks pretty uniform. It looks like it's meant to be there. And we are done with this tail 
But first, I'm going to secure this seam a little bit better. So I'm going through the single crochet stitches, not through the stocking knitted stitches, just through the single crochet. If you look closely, you can see. And I'm just going to weave my tail in just a little bit and knot it off to further secure. And then, of course, you're just going to weave in your tail through those single crochet stitches and then cut off the excess because we're done sewing with this portion. So here's what your piece should look like with the toe and the heel. And you may notice that my heel looks a little bit small in this video. That's because I only did 10 rows. That's why I told you to do 13 because mine is too small. So now we're gonna sew the body to this piece that we just sewed together. So because we only sewed 23 stitches on each piece, we should have 46 left, which is also how many the body has. So you're just going to join these 46 stitches that are left over together. And you're going to just join where it sort of lays naturally. You're not going to want to start at that white part right there. You're going to want to start kind of to the side of it just a little bit on the toe. So here I'm coming out of the body because I'm using the excess tail from the body. And then this is going to be a little bit harder to see, but I'm using the same Kitchener stitch with the knitted stitches in the row from both pieces. So I'm just joining these parallel stitches to the parallel stitches below. So you're just gonna continue doing this all the way around. And I wanted to show you before I got to this heel portion that you may want to reinforce this portion here where the heel is. So I'm actually gonna go up to some stitches that I've already done. I'm gonna go up one stitch and go into the same stitch as the heel before. Basically, I'm going through the same heel stitch more than once because I really want there to be zero holes right here. And as you can see, me going upward on the heel and the toe portion and then bringing it down to the body portion helped prevent that hole. And then you're just going to continue on to the rest of the heel. So once you have all the pieces sewn together, you are going to take your tail to the inside of the stocking to hide the tail. And we're also going to reinforce the seams in there. And we're going to reinforce the seams by sewing through this junction where we have all three pieces sewn together right here. So I'm just gonna take this tail and go around all three pieces a couple of times to further reinforce. That way, if you put anything heavy in your stocking, this should help keep them together. And once you're satisfied, you're gonna knot off your tail and weave it in and then cut off the excess. So here is what it should be looking like. Again, my heel is smaller than yours because I told you to make more rows. Now we're gonna add our faux fur cuff and we're gonna do that with a crochet hook. And if you did the double brim, you can just skip this part. 
You want to make sure that you're not using jumbo weight yarn. This is a size 6 super bulky weight yarn. It's thinner than the jumbo by a lot. So be sure that you're using the thinner one. Now we're going to follow the heel fold up the body and then join on that side. You're going to join and then chain one and we're not going to put a stitch in every stitch around because the yarn is different weight it's a much bulkier weight so if we put one half double crochet in every stitch around it is going to ruffle so we're going to skip some stitches so we're going to half double crochet in basically every other stitch around so if you're not familiar with a half double crochet i'm showing you here it's a little difficult to tell but we're going to be skipping technically these two lines right here, but it's just one stitch. So if you need to look at your single crochet stitches, I recommend looking at those. You're going to want to crochet loosely because we are going to be working back into these stitches. So don't make them super tight. And I also recommend counting as you go because you are going to want to make sure that you have a consistent number of stitches every round because we're going to be doing several rounds of this I and mean, you don't want to get a lopsided brim. So just continue doing that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. So here we are at the end. I'm going to slip stitch into this hole right here, which indicates our first stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and we're going to do another round of half doubles. We're going to half double in between the stitches because this yarn is impossible to see where your stitches are. So everywhere I poke my finger through, that's actually between the stitches. And I'm just making half double crochet between these stitches all the way around. And if you did it like I told you, you should have 23 stitches because that's half of 46. So you're just going to continue making rounds of half double crochet until it gets the thickness you want. So on this one that I've already done, the thickness I wanted was three inches, and I'm, I really like that thickness. So I'm going to go until I have almost three inches, and then I'm going to stop and show you how to add the hanging loop on the last round. So I have two and a half inches here. I have one more round to go. So I'm going to show you how to add the hanging loop on your last round. So to do that, you're basically going to finish the round, slip stitch to join. And then you're going to make your hanging loop whatever size you want. So for me, that's a chain of seven. I kind of wish I'd made it slightly bigger. So just sort of play around with it till you get the loop you want. And then you're going to slip stitch into the first chain that you made to create a loop. And that's it. Here's my chain loop. Now you're just going to continue making half double crochet in every stitch around, making sure you have 23 half doubles if you did it just like I did. So here is where I started. Here's that chain loop. I'm going to actually push that chain loop down in front and then slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet of the round. And then I'm going to fasten off and weave in my tail. This yarn is super forgiving because you can't see your stitches, so just weave it in so it doesn't come out, but you don't really have to worry about making it pretty because nobody is going to see it. And this is what it should look like. And I'm going to measure this for you so you can kind of get an idea of how big it should be. Mine is measuring about 19 inches long or about 48 and a half centimeters long and it's about six inches wide and now you're just going to embellish your stocking as you desire but you are done. Your Addy Christmas stocking is complete. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.